In this project, we will simulate the pulsatile blood flow in arterial bifurcation. By clicking on the subscribe button, you will be informed about the newest CFD training videos by Mr. CFD. Or if you are watching the training video, click on the Mr. CFD logo and subscribe. A new window will appear showing you the DOM and extents of your geometry. Also, under the view length, view length unit section, you can see the default geometry units, which is meter in this project. Also, under the scaling section, uh, uh, under the mesh was created in, you can change the settings uh, in order to activate the scaling factors beneath that. For example, your geometry and mesh was is designed in a software which uh, its default unit was millimeters. By activating these scaling factors, you can change this factor to your desired factors in order to set the length to the appropriate unit. By clicking on display button, a new window will appear which you can see different parts parts of your geometry. Now after adding the blood as your desired material, you have to introduce this material to the computational dummy. To do that, we expand the fluid under the cells and condition section and double click on the part body. For example, you can see here that an area weighted average report type has been defined over the field variable of pressure over the surface of inlet boundary. We double click on run calculations button and in the appeared window under the parameters we enter the values of number of time steps and time step size and max iteration per time step as you can see in this slide. After that we click on calculate button and the software will start the simulation process. In the extracted contour you can easily see that the value of wall shear stress has increased near the bifurcated region. On the low left side of the software window in front of the method, we select a YZ plane and we'll set the value of X unchanged so that this plane will be created in the middle section of our geometry. After that, in front of the locations, this time we can select our defined plane and in front of the variable, for example, we select pressure and then click on apply button. And now in this slide, you can easily see the pressure distribution in the middle section of our geometry. And finally, in this slide, you can easily see the velocity distribution inside our computational domain and near our bifurcated region. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Mr. CFD services, including simulation, consultation, and training, contact our experts via info at mrcfd.com